Now, let us quickly vault into this mechanism called electrophilic aromatic substitution. Do note that we will discuss only benzene, although we did see some other aromatic species. To start with, let us compare an electrophilic addition with an electrophilic substitution. In the electrophilic addition, we see that the neutral electrophile bromine alone is sufficient. However, if we try the same reaction with benzene, we see that the bromine molecule has no effect at all. We can only persuade the benzene molecule to react with bromine in the presence of a suitable Lewis acid like anhydrous AlCl3 or anhydrous ferric bromide. Do note that for benzene to be able to react, it requires a cationic electrophile. As it is, it is very tough to get benzene to react with anything at all. Now, bring back aromatic electrophilic substitution and look at the mechanism. As you can see, the catalyst makes the bromine molecule more electrophilic by polarizing it to give this species. The cationic electrophile reacts as if it were a Br plus species. Now, the nucleophilic benzene ring reacts with the species forming a non-aromatic carbon intermediate. Why is this not aromatic? We see that one of the ring members, this center, it happens to be sp3 hybridized. As you can see, this carbocation has three resonance forms, which should indicate a great deal of stability. Do note how the positive charge is delocalized to the two ortho and the one para positions. Thus, the reaction of an electrophile with a benzene ring is endergonic, entailing a substantial energy barrier. Overall, this reaction is rather slow. Now, putting together all these factors, the formation of this cationic intermediate should be the rate determining step, don't you think? Going back to the mechanism, we see that in the very final step, there is the loss of a proton and the electrons, they move back into the ring, restoring the aromatic configuration. Let us quickly move on to another major example of uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution, the nitration of benzene. Here, we introduce a nitro group which replaces one of the hydrogen atoms in the benzene ring. To be able to do this, we require two very powerful reagents. In fact, a mixture of concentrated nitric as well as concentrated sulfuric acids. What do you think will happen when we mix these two powerful concentrated acids? It's a fantastic scenario. For the moment, we have these two acids here. Can you tell me which is the stronger acid? Definitely, it's the sulfuric acid, isn't it? Hence, it protonates the nitric acid. How cool is that? A strong concentrated acid getting protonated. And by now, you should be able to guess this part. The protonated part, the water molecule leaves and we have a strong electrophile, as in NO2+. This is called the nitronium ion and it has a linear structure. In fact, NO2 plus is isoelectronic with carbon dioxide and the central nitrogen atom is sp hybridized, just like in the case of carbon dioxide. This atom is attacked by the benzene and in the very final step, the proton gets removed, restoring the aromaticity. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's, the learning app today.